Hey guys, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and uh, as you can tell, it's been a couple of days since my last real video upload. I made a short the other day, that's the first time I've ever done that. Uh, but I just wanted to come to you guys with a real quick update uh, about the channel, specifically the War in the Pacific series, which has been running on this channel for well over two years now. Uh, we've gone through a number of opponents, XTRG, uh, Lieutenant Rainbow Slash, uh, we played uh, Lodric for a while, and we've been playing uh, Hartwig uh, most recently. And I wanted to let you guys know that the series is going on an indefinite hiatus, uh, unfortunately. I don't know if it'll ever be back. Uh, and that is primarily due to some, I think, miscommunication or forgetfulness on my part uh, at the beginning of uh, Hartwig taking over. And, uh, and that's kind of where we're at. So just kind of giving you guys the lowdown. Uh, when I originally set the series up with XTRG, XTRG had requested that we use a edited database. And what the database is, it's basically like it modifies unit attributes. Uh, and there is a common but not universally used uh, update to that database, which gives the Japanese some advantages and things like anti-submarine warfare and other things like that were some sort of egregious, uh, I guess, um, what do you call it? Egregious statistical values are probably in place. I think the most obvious is like in the case, I believe the M of the, the Sherman tank. Uh, I think it has like a 2000, I'd have to talk back to, uh, to, to some, some folks who know a bit better, but I believe in the stock version of the game, the Sherman tank basically has an armor value that essentially makes it impenetrable by almost every single weapon that the Japanese have. When this database update is made, uh, that value comes down and it's still a very strong vehicle, but it's a little bit more in balance. Uh, the database has, as I said, as uh, many other changes to it. I'll be honest, I don't know what all those changes are. I, I didn't look. All I know is when we set the game up, XTRG had requested that we use this database update it's a publicly available database update that is on the Matrix website, so it's not like it's some fringe thing where any of us just went in there and started making changes. Uh, but it is something that was requested, and, you know, I think what was going on is kind of Hartwick was a little bit puzzled about some of the results that were occurring. Uh, and so he was looking through some things, and he noticed some of these values were not in match with what he was expecting. Um, and Hartwick primarily plays the scenario without the database changes. So the style of player that he is, the tactics that he uses, the way that he plays is very much geared toward how the game works in the vanilla version of it. Um, and he wasn't aware that any changes had been made. So this seemed a little bit odd to him. Uh, and so, you know, he reached out to me and I, you know, I let him know, oh, crap, I forgot. You know, here's, here's where XTRG asked us to use this. I thought, I didn't think it was a big deal. I thought this was a common thing, but, you know, I think Hartwick finding out the way that he did, and then also, frankly, just like when he agreed to play, he agreed to play the vanilla version, not with this this modification, and so he just decided, listen, I, I'm not really interested in, in pursuing this game any further, um, and, you know, no, no, uh, no hard feelings or anything like that. Obviously, he signed up under the impression he was playing the vanilla version, and then he wasn't. Um, it wasn't, it's not, but, but whatever, neither here nor there, that, that was sort of the decision that was made. And so we're now in a situation where we've had four opponents over 153 episodes. And the first opponent of those was XTRG over like the first hundred. So we've had three opponents each averaging less than 20 episodes an opponent. Um, you know, frankly, guys, I think at this point, we're going to put the series on an indefinite hiatus and maybe we'll come back to it at some point in the future. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I feel no hesitancy in claiming an allied victory. The war is going very well for the allies. Uh, they haven't even lost Burma yet. They don't seem to be on pace to lose Burma. The Dutch East Indies are still holding out. They will fall. Japan's made some, you know, non-historical advances in the South Pacific, but we're already counterattacking. We retook Midway. We retook Savi. You know, I think the situation in this war, for any kind of player who'd be interested in picking this game up, it, it would take a very determined Japanese player who doesn't mind losing from the start, probably, or at least doesn't mind really some tough uphill sledding uh, from the start. And um, 
I just think at this point, that's probably unlikely. Now, it doesn't mean we won't find a future opponent in, you know, six months or a year or something like that, and maybe we'd resume. But I think for now, I'm pretty confident in saying this series is on indefinite hiatus. If it does end, it's an allied victory. But it had been a month since my last update, so I wanted to kind of give you guys an, an idea of what was going on. It's been a while since my last video upload. I did a short the other day, but um, I haven't been feeling well. My daughter gave me a really bad cold. You could probably still hear it a little bit. And um, I, my voice is kind of messed up and I'm still congested and whatnot. I'm hoping maybe we'll stream tomorrow and return to our Grand Tactician series, but we'll see how I'm feeling. I uh, just wanted to give you guys the update. So that's where we're at right now with War in the Pacific on the channel. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments uh, down below. Um, you know, please nobody be critical of any of my opponents. Uh, this is a completely reasonable approach and, and decision. Uh, and uh, I'm happy we've had such a long-running series. It's been two-plus years. It's been a great two-plus years, uh, but it may be time for the War in the Pacific series, for now, anyway, on the channel to come to an end. But that's enough of me rambling, guys. Uh, I'll get out of your way. Hope you guys have a nice Sunday, uh, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, Go Pack Go!